You know, I think it's about time we say something about the unsung heroes. You know, you're right. So many guys don't get the attention they deserve. I'm glad you agree, you know? It's about time the unsung heroes become... Sung. Yeah, you know, like the muckers and the grinders of the league. The guys that'll block shots, go into corners. I was talking about me! Yeah, but you don't do any of that stuff. Of course not, it sounds like it hurts. Who doesn't like a good shootout goal? If someone pulls some filthy move that leaves the goalie's jockstrap up in row 13, it's gonna get talked about. Find the clip online, pass it around. Dude, did you see this? And guys that score lots of goals get paid the big bucks for a reason. They can change a game. They can score one to bring you close, tie it, and score the overtime winner. And then you throw them a hat. Oh, I never do, I'd feel naked. And guys that can do that are hockey heroes. But then there's the less glorious jobs. Guys who will battle for a puck in the corner. Guys who battle in front of the net. And guys that'll dive in front of a hundred mile an hour slap shot. And a goalie will do that like 30 times a game, but goalies are nuts. In a good way. I'm talking about the warriors of the league. The grinders. And it's always great when those guys get recognition. And right off the top of my head, there's three guys in particular, all on the same team, that have gotten recognition recently for being warriors. There's the man who sparked the hashtag Tim Brent facts on Twitter. Tim Brent. Risking life and limb diving in front of slap shots. Earlier this season, he actually had a slap shot that cracked his shin pad. Oh boy. And Brent's been getting tons of props for that lately, and rightfully so. Then there's a guy like Luke Shen. The only only player in the league with over 150 hits and 100 block shots. Which means if he's not stopping the puck, he's stopping you. And like I said, he doesn't score a whole lot of goals, but he stops a lot of them. And I probably shouldn't be calling Luke Shen an unsung hero. It's not like you don't know who he is. But more often than not, it's hard to put a smart defensive play into a highlight pack. And Shen's got his battle scars. He's got a little cut above his nose there that's been there since like junior. Which brings me to the third and final player I want to talk about. And he's also got a bit of a, uh, let's call it a scratch on his nose. Daryl Boyce. Going for a hit in the corner to get the puck off someone, as he often does, he falls face first into the camera hole. And his face just, well, you've seen the picture. All right, let me just click this link here and ah! Oh, how did he, oh! There's no way that's how that's supposed to look. But he gets stitched right up and doesn't miss a single game. Gets right back to it, battling for position in front of the net. And there's something to be said about these guys and all the other players around the league with similar roles. First, you gotta be mentally tough, bordering on insane. Then, obviously, physically tough. But you really hear people say, why is that guy so tough? How did he get so tough? Well, to do the stuff these guys do, you gotta be strong in your skates. Gotta have tough legs, good balance, and a strong core. And competitiveness and wanting the puck more than your opponent is part of that. It's a big part of that. But you gotta train harder than your opponent too. Because to do the jobs that others aren't doing, you gotta do the training they're not doing too. I mean, have you seen Luke Shen? I haven't asked him yet, but I bet you he could rip a phone book in half. Who even still has a phone book? So to the muckers, grinders, and unsung heroes, on behalf of all hockey fans, we notice. And hopefully one day it'll all pay off. Maybe even more than once.